Hey guys, so today I'm going to teach you how to make um, so a um, mixed media background. So yeah, so I kind of already started, but I'll show you the supplies we need. So what you'll need is some white paper, car stock, whatever you want. Pretty much you can use whatever you want, it's just up to you. Um, I'm using white tissue paper. I'm using... Um, of the scrap of paper. Light is damp. I have some paint here. My Crayola slick sticks. I have um, I have some sheet paper that I sprayed with my homemade purple glamorous. So that's what it here, that's how it looks. Um, and some um, book paper. This was the book that I bought for 20, like 50 cents um, for crafts. And you can use whatever else you'd want. I might use a few other things, but yeah. So first what I did is I put my tissue paper and I crumbled it. So it would have like a texture, I don't know if you could tell, but yeah. So I did that, and now I am going to take some of my purple glimmer misted tissue paper. Oh, I'm just going to tear it because it's fine for how we're going to do this. It's fine. Perfectly fine. So, and then you just want to lay it on here. And take, oh, and I'm also using some homemade uh, um, Mod Podge, so it's right here, put it in this container, and so yeah, and I'm using a paintbrush and applying it. I do some glue underneath, which the glue was still wet, so that's why I didn't add any underneath, and then you just put some on top, and then it's adhered, and it doesn't have to be perfect, because you want some different textures and variations. I'm going to take a few more pieces of this and then put some white on top of this one. So it's lighter in some areas. Okay. So, take more Mod Podge. Or you could just use straight. You can use Elmer's glue too, um, but my Mod Podge is um, just, my homemade Mod Podge is just um, some glue and then a teeny bit of water just to have it a little bit more liquidy. It's just um, school glue, or like Elmer's glue. You can use whatever you have though. I'm going to do a little bit more purple. Just lay it wherever you like. I'm just going to lay it in some just random places. That's all I'm gonna add. Actually, I'm gonna add a few more pieces. And there. And yeah, that's it. So, next, I am going to get. I am going to get some of my book paper. Oh, oh. you could just tear it if you want. I'm gonna do. Place it wherever you'd like. 
And I like the rough look, but if you want to cut it, you can. And a few more pieces. And we're going to be layering this. Just do it like that. And then just take my Mod Podge or a glue. Put it on top of it. Stay. and cut out a few flowers. <coughs> Sorry about that. And just cut around. around it until you like it or if you do whatever you want so I'm just cutting around this you can see so I'm gonna put that I'm just gonna put that right there Stick it on there so it goes in different variations and just let this paper that I'm cutting out fall on here. And you can paint water down some like um golden brown or any color paint you want and put it on the book page. I have done that and it looks pretty good. So or if you have the Tim Holtz Distress ink, you can use that. Whatever you'd like. I think I'm just only going to use one of these flowers. Okay, so I'm just going to put this right there and put it on there. Put some hard pudge on top of that. And then I am going to take a skewer or a toothpick. And I mixed this myself. And do some dots. You can make them into hearts too. And I am just going to be cutting out this part so I don't have to do my whole page.
do whatever you want. as much as I can. Put the lid back on this. Okay, and then I am going to take um, one more flower cut out. And then I think it will be done. And we're done. So just let that dry. And when it dries, you have your um, little background. So yeah, and I might spray some blue glimmer mist on it, but I don't know yet. But I might, I'm probably just gonna wait till it dries. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.